Hey everyone, I'm Nico from Licks of the Beast and I am pretty badly jet lagged, so please bear with me if I look and sound a little tired in this video. I just got back from Italy where I was on vacation for the past two weeks and it was really nice to spend some time just hanging out and not having to think about anything other than what you want to eat later that evening. We also drove seven hours to Bologna to see Iron Maiden and as I'm sure many of you heard, the show was cancelled due to unfavorable weather conditions literally one minute before Dr. Doctor was supposed to start playing through the speakers. Now, I know this was not the band's decision. It was the authorities who, in my opinion, overreacted. Especially because it was obvious to everyone in attendance that the storm was moving away from the area very quickly. In fact, it was over by the time we got to the parking lot. So that really sucked, especially for the many fans who would have been seeing them for the very first time, or those who travel from quite far to see that show. I did, however, get to visit the beautiful city of Bologna, I got to eat some incredible food, and I had the immense pleasure of meeting some truly awesome fellow Maiden fans who watch and support the channel. And no exaggeration, I really consider that a highlight of my trip. Thank you all again for your encouraging words and for making me feel good about what I do here. I had plans to make a video about the show, how the band sounded and performed, how the current set list felt live, and how I thought the show compared to the ones I saw earlier in their career. And if that sounds interesting to you, then rest assured that video will come after I catch them here in Toronto and Hamilton in October. Okay, so for this video, I thought it would be fun to look at some guitar melodies from their latest album Senjutsu and reimagine them with a harmony. Now, I wouldn't go as far as calling these missed opportunities because obviously they know that they could have harmonized these lines if they wanted to. So if they chose not to, I'm sure it's because they felt the part sounded better without it. But as Maiden fans, we all love a good guitar harmony, so it's always cool to imagine how these parts could have sounded if they had taken more of a classic Maiden approach. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Here are five guitar melodies from Senjutsu, reimagined as guitar harmonies. This is from one of the more emotionally charged songs on the album. There is a bitter sadness that permeates the entire song, so I thought a melancholic harmony, like the ones they did on the No Prayer for the Dying album, would be the best way to approach this one. The sound of this melody and the title and subject matter of the song really takes me back to my favorite Maiden album, Somewhere in Time. So I went with a straightforward harmony in the style of Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner, Deja Vu and Caught Somewhere in Time, where you stay in the same high register and you just play the same melody a third higher. And I think it ended up sounding very 1986, Somewhere in Timey, which is awesome. they use as a bridge between Dave and Adrian's solos in this next one has a similar structure to the riff they play before the second verse in Hallowed Be Thy Name and the main riff to Only the Good Die Young. So I tried to do something in that vein, staying in the same low register and then just playing the melody a third higher. And although it worked just fine, I felt it sounded a little more like Halloween than Iron Maiden. So to make it feel more maideny. I changed the first paused note by going up instead of down, and I think it made a big difference in how the harmony feels. This 
one was a bit tricky because I had tried a few different things and nothing really sounded right. So I thought about it for a bit and I decided something in the style of Revelations where the harmony descends a little more straightforwardly might do the trick. And I think it did. Here it is. This last one is probably my favorite one of the bunch. Funny enough, I really didn't think a harmony would work on this part. Harmonies sometimes make things sound smaller and more closed, and this is a part that needs a big, broad sound. So I played the first thing that came to mind, which was something in the style of Infinite Dreams from Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, and I think it really works. So let me know what you think of this one, because I really like it. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that perhaps this provided a little insight into how Iron Maiden's guitar harmonies are structured. Now I want to reiterate that I don't mean this to be a missed opportunities kind of thing. I don't think these songs would have been better or sounded more like Maiden with these harmonies in place. I actually like the album very much exactly the way it is. This is just something I like to do for fun. And I also think it's a good way to practice and learn about composition and arrangement. And I think some of these harmonies do sound pretty cool. So that's all this is. And again, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these harmonies. Please hit that like button and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more licks of the beast.